Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Industries of Titan. So we're having a look at this because it won the popular poll. Uh, we do that daily. Go and check it out on the community tab. I put down five games that have fallen out of rotation for various reasons, and then you guys vote back in what you'd like to see. Gives the underdog a bit of a second go around. Now, we had a playthrough going. Uh, we're a couple of episodes in. I'll just show you really quickly if I hit the continue button. We're in an early version of access, early access caused bugs. Any fixes to storage bugs will not be applied unless starting a new game. Now, that's interesting because, reference back to the previous episodes, it seems like something strange was going on with storage when we were trying to figure it out. Now, I haven't gone and scrubbed the footage to get to the bottom of it. I could have been mismanaging, but it does seem interesting that they've implemented storage bug fixes and we were having some storage issues. On top of that, their roadmap has been updated for the month of November. So while I will keep this in the same playlist and sequentially part of the same sort of series, we will start a new game so as to implement these changes accordingly. Remember, this is early access. Trying to do a playthrough of an early access game can be tough, especially when you cover as many different games as I do. And I think it's just as important to sort of showcase what they have added over time as it is to try and complete a full playthrough. But that's just my personal take on it. So let's have a bit of a look here anyway. They've added a few things. What's this? Quality of life features. Minimum worker per job category. That's interesting. Minimum worker per job. That's interesting. Maybe that's going to force us to distribute our, our manpower a bit more evenly. I don't know. Job management sorting options. Okay. Uh, text event. Call to arms. Okay. So that'd be like the, the town hall villager button from Warcraft. Dismantle ship in shipyard. Now, that's something we still need to have a look at is building the warships, right? New industrial fan building. That sounds cool. That's probably going to be something to do with pollution, right? Um, and three new rebel ships. Also good because while that is sort of the, the threat to the game, it is probably the least enticing part. It's very much they're just going to send a ship and you got to shoot it down. You know, it's very uh, by the numbers. So it's good to see them shoring that up. What else? Um, this is all previously done stuff. Ship to ship interior combat. Holy hell. All sorts of cool stuff. Okay, very cool. Air purifier building. I wonder how that goes with the uh, industrial fan. I guess we'll see. Now, what's coming up shortly? Rebuild destroyed buildings. Okay. A quick access interior view. Uh, that. Okay, so maybe it skips the zoom sort of animation. Uh, save worker settings between games. Burrow roads. Yeah, we haven't used burrow much, but you can essentially put your buildings underground when... An attack comes for a premium, I think, is the way it works. Um, and plan future updates. Population simulation. Oh, that's going to be cool. So there'll be, I suppose, static people aside from your workers. And so on. Anyway, I don't need to read through all of that. Look at this. Next content update right on the front of December. So we're going to have just enough time to have a look at this. And, and then maybe we'll have a look at the next one as well. Okay, so let's go. Standard. The the way it's uh, meant to be played, they, they've changed the intro there, I think. Oh, no, no, I still remember this. And then we've only got the landfallers, confirm. And you can choose your different types of grant. Oh, that's cool that it's got a little square on the planet. Custom location. No, 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 we go with lo low risk. See, it's normal everything. So it probably, uh, probably shouldn't be called low risk. Like, I get thematically, that, but if you're coming to... You know, you probably should use words like normal, right? Medium, normal, normal risk land grant. I know that doesn't sound great as far as like in-universe theme, but from a difficulty screen, I think it's probably the go. We don't need tutorials. Um, I'm not actually worried. Hardcore mode, no pause. Only saved on exit, one save. That's kind of cool. And we'll just go as Shylea Limited. And then in we go. God, I love this game. For those not familiar, it's made by Brace Yourself Studios. Brace Yourself Games. Uh, Brace Yourself something or other. And they've just released Phantom Brigade into an early access state as well. So they're doing very well for themselves, running two games out of a small shop at the same time. Two games that I absolutely love, and they're so radically different. You should check out the Phantom Brigade videos. We've been doing a couple of them. But, uh, but whereas this is like an unusual twist on sort of a colony management with a micro and a macro component to your, uh, your customization and building, um, the other one is a sort of turn-based mech fighter, uh, a la Battletech, I suppose. 
Um, but whereas Battletech is probably much more traditional in its sort of ex commie roots, um, Phantom Brigade takes that to another level with a, to- a real-time timeline management of a... Uh, well, it's not an I go, you go sort of scenario. I suppose it's like um, like Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, where you both put your orders in, and then over like ten seconds, it plays out both orders in real time. So you do turn, you you take your turn, and then it acts out in real time. But a huge part of it is timeline management and prediction, and you can actually see the enemy telegraphing their uh, their actions, and you can maneuver around it. Anyway, check it out; it's very fascinating. Not to rant about that too much, but it's relevant because it's the same company. Now, can we uh, can we skip this? I've seen this I've seen this intro many times. We've already taken up a little bit of time looking into the 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 uh, the changes. So there's our spaceport. There's our headquarters. There's our council hall. And we've got to get the ball bloody rolling asap. So what we probably will do is start uh, surveying all this can i i don't suppose i can is there like a short oh v v hang on yeah that's what we want to see and uh can't really do the empty plots and we've already got them claimed actually so that's good so our little dudes are coming over from the car and they're gonna do their little survey um i really wish the speed up buttons oh sh- that's right it's shift I'll, I'll take that as a half measure. Um, Alright, so we've got some employee management going on. Now, as you might recall, or there might be some people this is new for them, you can unlock these macro buildings, um, but every time, like, that's a hundred bucks at the moment, but it will, it will increase each time. Um, so... What will we do first? Because we've got we've got our headquarters. We probably want to get artifacts. That's interesting. The different coloured artifacts. I don't know if they actually exist yet. I think there's only red artifacts at the moment. All right, cool. Let's head in here, and you can uh, you can sort of there's another building mini game in here as well right so what we probably want to do is get power generation going in order to do that we're going to need to get fuel going so we'll build a fuel fab in the corner like so um we're going to need minerals and uh at least this time i'm going to remember return to city that uh salvaging these buildings is a is a legit thing uh, one red artifact. Are there any with... Yeah, here we go. Cool. So we're going to salvage that. So what was the salvage hotkey? Z. So we'll do that as well. Because we don't really want to waste the red artifacts if we can help it. Mm, there's two over there. We're definitely going to extract them for sure. Um, I think maybe we'll just salvage those two buildings to get the ball rolling. There we go. So we're generating fuel there. We'll keep an eye on our resources. Headquarters, enter. I, I absolutely love this game, right? And it is still... I still remember, Look at them all just standing around on coffee break. Oh, we should probably get more storage, actually. Um, When we first looked at it, it was so thin on content. And still, it's still getting there. But um, but it's... They're updating it so often, it's, it's good enough for me. Fuel tank small... What's fuel tank large look like? A big square? Fuel tank small. Maybe we put the small fuel tank like so. Because that'll be that'll be smart to get some storage going. There we go. Look, it's starting to tick up already. All right, let's get some power happening. We are going to need a small generator, probably. We'll do it all in the same room. A small battery probably isn't going to hurt. And now, small relay is going to cost us minerals. How good is this music? Um, look, if it's only one artifact, oh wow, you know, I'm going to salvage these. What have we got there? Waste. Alright, we're going to need some sort of waste management solution for the time being. We'll, we'll get a bloody, uh, when we can build it. Yeah, this stuff doesn't exist yet, it's still in early access, but we can put a waste receptacle when we get the minerals for that. Just waiting on one more. There we go, perfect. So we'll just maybe plonk that down there in the corner. Now, what's their problem? Disabled. 
because it says we're generating power right i think i actually need to what's it throwing me is that it's got that it's glitched out two things over there technically they're not connected and they need to be connected by a uh, what's it called a relay right so we'll just plop a relay i don't know we can just put it there for the moment and once we do that, it'll allow the power to pass to the battery. Apparently there's going to be a more robust transport system for fuel later, but it hasn't been added yet. There you go. And our storage is going up already. And we're full there. Oh my goodness. I'm still going to just keep going with the small containers for the moment. Alright, so we've got fuel and we've got power under underway. That's good as well. We'll get an industrial outlet, which uh, essentially allows your power to go external to this building. There you go, we've got different size things there as well. And uh, and then we've got things like these capsules and habitation mods. I'm not, this is a pretty good sort of storage floor. We might just leave that be for the moment. Um, combat floor. Okay, I don't think we... Maybe we can add floors to the headquarters, I can't recall. Upgrade. We've got the isotopes for it. Um, what we might actually do is we should be able to build a factory straight away. So I'm going to do that now. And we'll start getting our civilian component who earn us credits for unlocks. At the moment, we aren't earning credits. We just got 100 for the moment, but we need to earn an income. And we do that by getting civilians and buying them in so our civilians under our control are different from uh, our workers our workers are almost like brainwashed contracted zombies in a way um the civilians we just serve ads they sit in the bed <laughs> and do nothing and then they get up and watch ads and go back to bed so you know it's actually a pretty realistic simulator um factory built very good all right so all the factory is is similar to our hq it's just an internal storage space um but I figured we'd make a fresh one all together. So what we're going to need here is a habitat pod because we don't actually have civilian uh, capacity at the moment. Oh, we should be able to do it like that, hanging off the side. Now, we might actually have to build a, a power grid externally. All right, disabled. I'm going to attempt to build a uh, an outlet we're gonna need more minerals okay now the other thing is there's mineral spots that you can farm are you up here here we go probably probably couldn't hurt we'll assign an employee to that um but we can survey surrounding surrounding things um 10 minerals one i'll take that that's fine i need the minerals more than i need the artifacts right now the artifacts you use to do things like convert your dudes into uh civilians and such what's going on oh wow wow look at this no artifacts but big minerals um i'm going to claim that square actually and we're going to salvage that All right, um, industrial outlet. Okay, we're just going to wait for more minerals. There we go, perfect. Um, I guess we'll pop the outlet there. But we're probably going to need a relay as well. I am guess we're going to need a relay, so we'll do that. And uh, th th this will be interesting, actually. No energy, it says. Yeah, so I think we actually need an external grid to be able to do that. That's okay. Grid one, okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to power and we'll create, oh look, we get the energy pylon by default. That I didn't realize. Now oh, I guess we can just plonk that there, right? Waste. Max, okay, yep. We'll just wait for that for the moment. All the little boys just doing their little little bit of labour there.
Nice. So this should actually be up and running now, right? There we go. We're laughing and look, no citizens. So now we're going to go to the spaceport and we're going to cut a deal, uh, which was down here. Uh, we unlock it with our artifacts and we've only got two living space, right? Now what happens if I do that? I think, does it maybe store people at the space station? Ships may contain citizens. Huh, because I thought there were, oh no, you know what? It was, I was looking at the wrong thing. Did that have any people at all? I don't think it did. No, no, so I was looking at the wrong statistic. I was, yeah, that didn't have any people. So you can just buy it for, you know, resources. But for the moment, we do need population. Look at that, we're having storage issues. Uh, funnily enough, I think I might actually... Logistics. I'm going to spend that 100 credits on the storage facility. And we're full on waste. We're just waiting for these ships to come in. Well, I'll take one. I'll take one. One civilian will do. Any chance this is going to be a one? Probably not. Oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. How about that? Oh, there we go. We're at max population capacity now. That's building. You can see up there, two out of two. And the dudes will be walking in now. They're, sl they're different. I think my workers are yellow and the civilians are blue or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, so they're going to live here. But what we need is a monetization station, right? So we'll pop that there. I guess we need two of them. Employees required one. Okay. Well, that works out because you can sleep two in there and one. I, I think the uh, the relay is probably not going to be close enough. I don't mind this little bed setup. Reminds me of the Navy. Pretty basic stuff. All right, there you go. Disabled. Um, relay. Now let's do it like that. Oh good, the general storage must have waste capacity as well. I, I thought that that might be separate. All right, here we go, and then they're gonna go watch their bloody ads. Out of reality, it's very cool. It's like Black Mirror. And now we're gonna start ticking up credits, yeah? Let's check out this storage, what's the go here? Zethane pollution. Oh, okay, that's just general. That's a square health. Local storage. Waste. A lot of waste in there. Um, you can't go inside these buildings. So, these it's just a building-sized storage center compared to what we had before. Um, smokestack, right? Burns through waste quickly. Releasing... Gases that may harm unprotected civilians. Perfect. So we need to save up for that, which is 200 credits. All right. So we probably want more civilians. Um, we could build like a civilian apartment complex, but not right now, basically. Um, so I think let's just continue. Can I build it like that? Not quite. I wonder if I can I move these? I don't think I can move it. But what if I were to build another relay just there and dismantle that one? Oh wow, it just immediately shuts down, I see. I see how it is. Right, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. And then we'll build a habitat pod like that. Now, I wonder if they can walk through that square. Should be interesting. This is something that I've, has boggled my mind, is how the pathing might necessarily work. Like, will it say no access or something? Interesting. Warnings. Draining batteries. Oh. 
We're not producing enough power. All right, well, for starters, let's see if we can Shanghai two more blokes in. And we, we've got council reputation ticking up as well. That's the sort of... That's the currency that we're using on these ships. Oh, wow, they've just got, like, no people in them. Six? Too much, man. Too much. Minerals, waste, whatever. I'll buy them just to get them out of the way. Not enough living space. All right, what was going on? We we're having a battery problem. Okay, so let's sit your, uh, check out our power situation. Um, storage full. That's fine. We've got other storage containers. Calm your farm. All right, let's get a, a, another size generator going here. Maybe we can offset that battery drain. Where are them workers at? Oh, here they come. And uh, now we're probably going to have a fuel problem. Oh, no, we're flat. We're flat zero. Maybe just ticking a little bit. That's right. I'm happy with that for the moment. All right. Spaceport. God damn it. Might need more people storage. What's going on there? Oh, it's draining our grid too much. That's interesting. Well, hang on, we're about to hit 200. So maybe we can uh, get a big power grid going, you know? Here we go, power, energy plant, all right? Confirm. And I can't build it because I don't have enough minerals. Um, what's going on there? Artifacts. Oh, that's a lot of minerals. Let's get that one. Oh, perfect. No space for migrants. All good. Yeah, okay, so we're barely making enough power. Come on, boys, can you go grab those minerals for me? Nice. Alright. Maybe we'll put it next to the uh, the pylon. It probably makes sense. Now, I hope I think maybe that the sort of miniature micro fuel works on that, you know. But we're probably gonna have a fuel problem as well. But one thing at a time. Still sort of harvesting these up here. Yeah, claim we'll put another bloke out here. Off he goes, off to work. Well, the storage like we were having we were having storage issues last time from the get go, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty convinced there was, in fact, a glitch and they've fixed it. So good for them. Well done to the devs. Here we go. Now, what have you got to say? No employees. Well, we can fix that. No fuel. Not connected to other devices, buildings. Oh, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. That's lies. But uh, we definitely need fuel. And if we wanted to get a fuel turbine... That's going to cost us 300 credits, which we don't have. So let's get in here and see if we can make a, some more of a fuel fuel fab large. Look at that. Delicious. Love to see it. You have to deal with waste. I can't just keep putting it in storage. 
The old oxygen not included strategy. Here we go. Look at this. Energy used zero to six. Okay, right. So we're not. Fuel status four out of four. Energy generated plus 16. Energy storage. No energy. Ah. Well, we've got some civilians, if I recall, and I don't see them, so I'm guessing that they can't actually get into there. So what if we use... We're going to move the industrial outlet to, like, there, and we're going to dismantle that one and see if that makes much of a difference. No, it looks like there might be a better way to build these, actually. You could mirror them back to back. All right, so that's working. So let's just get a, uh, a relay like that. And that should fix the problem. No citizen. That's all right. Where are the... Uh, I, I guess maybe they're just dragging their feet, getting to work or getting home. Let's, uh, let's see. Two? Perfect. I'll have another two, thank you. What's going on here? Storage full. What storage? Oh, you mean the building-specific storage? That's interesting. Okay. Because we've got the, uh... We've got this larger storage here, here, which doesn't seem to be full. It's interesting that they filled up the other one first. Alright, so let's get your monetization stations going. Hmm. Might have a few walking problems there. Let's look into... A large relay. Oh, Jesus. It's not getting power to that. It's alright, we'll come up with a better system, I think. I think, yeah, doing back to back might be the go. Like, if I get a habitat pod here and rotate it like that, I might actually dismantle this and dismantle this so as to put this to the test. Oh jeez, I'm bricking out. I'm bricking me base pretty quick. I think I'm overtasking all my workers a little bit as well. Low, low on minerals also. Let's get some more mineral farming up and going. Claim. Yes, yeah, so it dedicates an employee. I've still got some more claim points. I think I'll just do it. Just go hard on the uh, on the farming there. Yeah. So what we might actually do is dismantle those. Dismantling that already, very good. And yeah, that's the other thing. See, they, they vomit and spew all over the place and make rubbish the civilians, so you generate even more rubbish than what I'm already accruing and not dealing with properly. And now we've got a, a bit of a problem, I think, because I've probably overtasked my workers. You can click on them and see what they're doing. 
Move resources. It's five active and there's seven jobs. Dismantle. That's cool. This seems like a really intuitive sort of uh, window for that. Oops. Nice. And if, yeah, if I were to build another habitation pod, I'll probably put it there. Like so. Yeah, we're getting to a point where I want more employers, eh? And then you can actually add floors to the base as well. So we could have more floors of this. Well, that's good, because that'll create a space where I, I can potentially have a walkway, right? So if I wanted to make a large relay that... That reached everything. I'm not 100%. No, I wouldn't be able to get whatever is in the back corner there. Oh, I'm so close to having like a, a pretty good bulk solution. Nowhere to store blocking resources. Are you serious? Is this full? Available. Yeah, now you work it out. Yeah, right. So I've got relay large, right? But the problem is if I did it on this center strip. It's just not wide enough. I could probably make a whole bunch of little small relays, though. They'll all make it across. I just got to make sure I don't uh, log the road. That's right. It's, there's a method here. Have I not said dismantle this? Oh, fuck. I was waiting for it to go. Yeah, so going by this, I don't want to judge, I don't want to drop where their feet go. But I think if I put like, a well, large relay is three long. Oh no. And they're only got a two gap in between. I don't, so I won't be able to fit a large relay there. Wow, this is so uh, painfully Put together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, okay, my pursuit of symmetry continues. You know how it is. Everyone has their own idiosyncratic way of running factories and things like that in these sort of games, but we've already gone over time, so we'll finish up there. That's good. It's good to be back on it. I'm glad you guys voted it back in. Uh, I mean, I was going to say it's a shame we had to restart, but it, it did fix that bug, which is good. Haven't had a chance to look at the new stuff, as is often the case, and who knows... The next episode might find itself, uh, you know, a week or two away in December, so we'll have a look at that again as well. But I don't mind. I don't mind checking in and potentially restarting almost every episode just to have a look at what's going on and keeping this on people's radar as well, because it deserves it, because it's such a cool game, and I love its aesthetic. All right, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.